गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वी आर हियर विथ न्यू टॉपिक थ्रेड्स टू बायोडाइवर्सिटी लॉस वी आर वेरी वेल अवेयर विथ वट इज बायोडाइवर्सिटी एंड वाई इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर अस तो दिस बायोडाइवर्सिटी इज द टोटालिटी ऑफ द जीन्स स्पीसीज and all the organism find in particular region it is known as the biodiversity of that ecosystem so this biodiversity the animals the plants from long period of evolution has raised and variety of microorganisms and these organisms has been evolved through the period of million years after the development in human with development and technology we are keeping on hunting deforestation and many activities which harms this biodiversity today we look on that topic how this biodiversity is under threat and what are the cause of that threats loss of biodiversity it refers to either ongoing extinction of species at a global level or local reduction or loss of species in a given habitat loss of biodiversity is what there is a ongoing extinction of the species it like a koi jeev jantu marvani ani upar che koi prani marvani ani upar che have a species duniya ma kare fari nahi jova mare at a global level or a local reduction or loss of species in given habitat apni aaju baaju ma ghana bada praniyo dheeme 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 apne nahi jota jem ki khiskoli e tamne dheere dheere ochi thati jova mare che have tamne e nahi dekhati so that is loss of biodiversity the scale of problem तो बायोडाइवर्सिटी लॉस के वाइट इज नीड टू स्टडी एट दीस लेवल सो इन लास्ट फोर्टी इयर वी हेव लॉस फिफ्टी टू पर्संट ऑफ प्लेनेटरी बायोडाइवर्सिटी एंड लॉस फिफ्टी एट पर्संट वर्टिब्रेट्स ऑन लैंड सी एंड एर इन वर्टिब्रेट फिगर कूड रेज टू सिक्सटी सिक्स पर्संट बाय ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी छाला चालीस वर्ष में आप दुनिया ने पचास टका करता जीव जंतु ने अपने खोई चूक्या पचास टका करता फिफ्टी टू परसेंट वी हेव लॉस फिफ्टी एट परसेंट ऑफ वर्टिब्रेट्स जेने अपने मेरुदंडी प्राणी कही है वर्टिब्रेट्स जमीन पा हवा बदा में सिक्सटी फिफ्टी एट परसेंट एंड इट इज एस्टिमेटेड इट कूड बी रीच टू सिक्सटी सिक्स परसेंट इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी सो दीस बायोडाइवर्सिटी लॉस in a planetary scandal a demanding same on us as a species to je biodiversity no apne loss kari raha chhe ej biodiversity no ek nanakdo apne bhag chhe we are the part of that one and that is a sample for us many leading scientists are calling this mass axis a extinction event तो आ मोटा प्रमाण जीवो ने खतरो इट इज मस्ट एक्सटेन्शन इवेंट चालीस वर्ष में जो दुनिया की के पचास साइठ टका जीव जंतुओ नाश पा खाली छाला चालीस वर्ष में सो यू मे इमेजिन द वर्क ऑफ नेचर विच हेज बीन रनिंग सीक्स मिलियन्स ऑफ द इर्स कूदरते जेने सजा लाखों वर्षो लगाड़ा है ये मैं चालीस वर्ष अर्धु करनाख्यू
we have lost the fact figure which i found from lpi in 2016 living planet index shows that the lpi what is it it measures trend in thousands of population of mammal bird reptile amphibians and fishes across the global तो हजारों जीव जंतु नो अभ्यास करे जे बेस्ड ऑन पॉपुलेशन साइज ऑफ वर्टिब्रेट स्पीशीज द लिविंग प्लैनेट इंडेक्स एलपीआई डेटा शोस दैट द वर्टिब्रेट्स नंबर हैव मोर देन हाफ इन लिटिल मोर देन 40 इयर्स तो एलपीआई सु गए जे के जे वर्टिब्रेट छे एने छला 40 वर्ष में नी 50% प्रजाति नाश पामे जे and the LPI which measures the trend in thousands of people of mammal, birds, reptile, amphibian fish across the globe shows that decline 58% between 1972 to 2012. Ognisho sitter thile in a bajar barso dima. A town taka paksiyo, praniyo, sadish roops, ubai jivi, machli. Abadano, apade dunia mati khoi na ki jai. We have lost them. If current trends continue, decline could be reached to two third by the 2020. And a kadach e rastu e avi 66% pan loss thai gyoz dai. This is the graph index value 1970. The 2018 Living Planet Report is 12th edition of Worldwide Federation flagship publication बराबर तो इनो ग्राफ छे 38% स्पीशीज हैज बीन लॉस्ट इन दिस 40 इयर्स अगेन हाउएवर द डेजिग्नेटेड प्रोटेक्टेड एरिया कवर 15.4% ऑफ द अर्थ लैंड सरफेस व्हिच इज लाइक टू हैव द शो द डिक्लाइन इन द terrestrial index compared to the fresh water and marine water indices to je praniyo no nash thai je e mota bhagi kya area ma thai je terrestrial terrestrial etle ke ja jangal ho je je ni aju baju ma manaso ane shahro no vaswad che tya agar vadhare praniyo no nash thai je that is the thing The fact are we going, I think, is the revision. The LPS of our freshwater species shows that the greatest decline falling 81% 1970 to 2012. Chokku paani chhe, paani chhe, any in the ekyasi taka, 81% biodiversity loss chhe between these 40 years. The main threats are habitat loss, defragmentation. So, in current suji, habitat loss and defragmentation. What is habitat loss and defragmentation? That we are coming. The direct impact for dams and unsustainable water extraction. So, bijuksu current je, bau mota dam bana vidi da je, ila pani je che. ये डैम पची जे आखी जीव सृष्टि हती जल सृष्टि हती डैम बनाया पची आगर ये बदी बंद है गई एंड अनसस्टेनेबल वाटर एक्सट्रैक्शन बराबर अपने पानी ने कोई पण दिते कोई नाथी तो शुद्ध रवा दे दू के एनी अंदर थी एनो उपयोग पण अडडक करिए छे सो दैट इज कॉल्ड ओवर एक्सप्लॉइटेशन अपने अतिरेक करिए छे ना उपयोग नो Marine species population declined 36% in 1970 to 2012. The majority of decline in marine LPI occurred between 1970 and late 1980s after which the trend stabilized. So, Dariyani in the world, Chhatris Taka biodiversity lost 36%. And overfishing is the most common trait. Inu Karan Suje, Dariyani in the पहला शादी नावड़ी में थी माछी मारी था दीदी दी। रोज नी 2-4 किलो फिश आवे आज रोज नी केले फिश आवे छे टन सॉफ्ट टन दुनिया में रोज नी टन नी अंदर माछली जे छे ए दरिया में थी लोको खोराक माटे काढी ले छे ओवर फिशिंग इज अ मोस्ट कॉमन थ्रेट 
and while some fisheries are now showing the recovery because strong management measures to aaj ema awareness aavi che ane jem apne jitlu vruksh chedan kari etla vruksh vaviye che e machhali ni andar pan jitli machhali levai che same etli e ugadvai pan che the majority of feed stock that contribute most of the global fish catch are now either fully fished or overfished to aa badu je che e फेक्ट बतावे द टॉपिक फॉर योर डिस्कशन इज द लॉस ऑफ बायोडाइवर्सिटी कॉजिज तो जो बायोडाइवर्सिटी है एना घटवा पाचों कारणों शू है देर आर टू रीजन्स पर्टिक्युलरली दीज आर कैटेगराइज एज अ नेचरल कॉजिज एंड मैनमेड कॉजिज कूदरती मानव सृति द नेचरल कॉजिज इंक्लूडिंग द volcanoes meteorites uh fire then uh high tide heat waves flood and uh, entry of alien species then uh, uh what say pandemic we are facing right now the pandemic that is a swine flu so we are uh, coming on that each topic and uh, artificial or man made uh, components causes including loss of habitat and uh, uh, fragmentation of the forest area global warming then exploitation of natural habitats hunting fishing pollution use of excessive and harmful harmful chemicals in agriculture entry of alien species and last and main reason is the population so we uh, discuss all this topic one by one the first reason is the first reason is a natural one destruction of habitat habitat where the microorganisms or organisms grow and live in that environment natural forces can act to destroy the habitat species and individual organisms obvious example including volcano eruption flood and fire so what happened the volcanic eruption flood and fire may destroy the forest or natural environment it's a natural calamities previous mass extinction event have been associated with asteroid impact we know it very well what is the main cause of loss of dinosaurs it is believed to that the volcanic eruption or meteorite uh, attack may loss the dinosaurs the same factor can also drive habitat fragmentation fragmentation can isolate population reduce gene pool and weaken species fitness or ability to survive and reproduce habitat fragmentation it is gradual destruction of habitat what is it habitat fragmentation let's see in next slide this photograph showing that the meteorite attack or volcanic eruption become a cause for loss of the species the meteoric attack and it is the one of the cause for the loss of dinosaurs from the earth 
एवरी ईयर द फायर कैच इज मैनी फॉरेस्ट डेंस फॉरेस्ट एंड लास्ट ईयर वी हैव रिपोर्टेड द लार्जेस्ट फायर इंसिडेंट विच वॉज ऑब्जर्व फॉर टू मंथ्स ब्राजील फॉरेस्ट ब्राजील न जंगल है लगभग बे महीना आग लगी विच प्रोवाइड द ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ ऑक्सिजन टू द वर्ल्ड सो ऑल द ऑर्गेनिजम्स एंड प्लांट्स बर्न इन दैट फायर इज अ नेचरल लॉस दिस इज द फ्लड इन द फ्लड द वॉशिंग ऑफ सॉइल माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स एंड सॉइल फ्लोरा प्लांट्स ऑपोजिट टू दैट फ्लड देर इज अ ड्रॉट दुष्कार पड़ो वेर ऑर्गेनिजम्स एंड माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स डाय विदाउट वॉटर that is extensive heat lead into the drought vadu garmi pade dushkar pade then extension of the rain varshad na ave one more reason is a cause is a global warming global warming disturb the seasonal variation either excess or less what rain or excess or less heat so this disturbance in ecosystem leads the uneven seasonal variation one thing is entry of alien species you can see in the photograph the kaliya a water serpentor which is responsible for killing all the species by releasing the chemical poison into the environment so this is the historical mythological story scene and lord krishna removed from the yamuna river so that is a great example of alien species this alien species when enter in certain environment they just kill other natural or local species or harm them on greater level invasive species they are also known as invasive species they cause the majority of all recorded extinction that have occurred on island why do these species cause so much because there is no predator to this invasive species and invasive species rapidly killing the lower organism or they are uh, releasing this uh, poison like substances this is the example of killer fish and man eating snake nine invasive species that are destroying america in america this is the snake head fish it is a killer fish and man eating snake it is one of that one this is the constrictor snake which eat the animal and man european sterling 
sting bug these are the examples of alien species feral hog the next natural cause is pandemic endemic or the disease to the plant or animal and a very good example right now prevailing between us that is a swine flu bird flu avian flu so this are the disease which kills the animals on a high level this is the photograph where swine flu was reported earlier and most of the swine were killed so all these are the examples of naturally factor nature factor which cause the biodiversity loss now we discuss the man made cause of biodiversity loss habitat destruction and degradation habitat is the area where organism live and reside since years but due to anthropological factors or human activity like mining khud kaam khanij khanan agricultural activity settlement te vaswat kare jangal ma industrial highways and construction are the primary example of this habitat destruction we see this thing with photograph the degradation caused through polar land use and deforestation poor land use and deforestation see the images habitat loss took several forms outbreak loss of area used by wild species तो जो जमीनों कापी नाखा है जे आग दस्ता बना एरिया शू है दीज एरिया आर मोस्टली यूज बाय द वाइल्ड स्पेसिस डिग्रेडेशन फॉर एक्जाम्पल वेजिटेशन रिमूवल एंड इरोजन विच डिप्रोवाइड द नेचरल स्पीसीस फॉर फूड हल्टर एंड ब्रीडिंग एरिया डिग्रेडेशन शू थ हेबिटाट डिग्रेडेशन के जय ते जंगल में रस्ता बनाव छो जंगल कापी नाखो छो सो अल्टिमेटली यू आर रिड्यूसिंग द फूड सेल्टर एंड ब्रीडिंग एरिया फॉर दोज ऑर्गेनिजम एंड दिस इज हाउ द फॉरेस्ट एरिया इज रिड्यूसिंग ए घटत जाए एंड फ्रेगमेंटेशन when native species are squeezed on small patches of undistributed land because they are surrounded by area clearing for agriculture and other purposes see what is fragmentation in next image was what known as deforestation so the image is showing you that the tree and gathering of tree is a forest area is lost by human activity when all the trees and plants have gone where will all the wild animal live so this one is the anthropogenic activity human activity on a great level the trees have been cut for 
demanding the wood and furniture supply the adverse impact of this deforestation is observed if catching land area reduces of the total area of the habitat the species that need those habitats are put under more pressure for example total area of lowland raised bog in scotland fell by 44% between 1947 and 1988 to su ke je scotland ma 44% zameen je hati e gati gayi 41 ek varsh ma an average annual loss of 2.5 km square of raised bog habitats every year दर वर्षे आटलू जंगल ओछू थाय टू पॉइंट फाइव स्क्वायर किलोमीटर प्लांट एंड एनिमल डिपेन्ड ऑन दीज हेबिटार हाउ टू मेक डू विथ स्मोलर टोटल एरिया ऑफ हेबिटार इच यर अने दरेक मे जंगलों ना थता जाए घटता जता जाए सो दीस इज डिग्रेडेशन ऑफ हेबिटार वन मोर इज हेबिटार फ्रेगमेंटेशन Fragmentation is one of the most serious cause of erosion of biodiversity. Fragmentation lead to artificially created terrestrial island with microclimatic effects marked different from those that exist in a large tracts of large tracts of habitats before fragmentation. The photo showing that every minute forest. the size of 20 football fields is cut down bolo every minute dar minute 20 football na maidano bane etlo area jangalo ma thi zameen ma convert thai ryo che forest the size of 20 football fields is cut down every minute it is a alarming This is the exactly photo which is showing you fragment uh, habitat fragmentation. In habitat fragmentation, when any person or agency make a road between a forest, so all the species and environment is divided into two half. and this reduces the interaction between that organism which are divided into this halves so this is known as the habitat fragmentation the photo is showing you that the area is used by the human activity one more example is the mainland norway much habitat has been lost through piecemeal development in particularly during last 20 30 years so this is the coastal area of norway within 100 year you can see that in the images the green patches have been decreased so this green patches were the forest and through the time this green patches are decreased as well as fragmented and all this area is replaced with the development in the city civilization so this is the example of human activity on habitat fragmentation for any reason human started to move into the forest and interferes with the natural environment for jungle safari we are often start to move around and across the forest 
विच डिस्टर्ब द एनिमल्स रूटीन लाइफ सफारी इन गिर फॉरेस्ट सफारी इन काजीरंगा फॉरेस्ट नेशनल जिन कॉर्बेट पार्क एनी वेर दिस फैसिलिटी डिस्टर्ब द एनिमल्स In the image, you can see the human started to build the home on the polar region, which is difficult to survive for human. Though, for tourism purpose, they have been built, and it start to uh, enter the. human interference in this natural environment and this lead that due to unavailability food and habitat fragmentation the animals start to rush away into the nearer villages and human areas since last 2 3 years this situation is very common in the district of saurashtra in amreli bhavnagar junagadh we often heard that the leopard or lion or tiger rush away from forest area into the villages and attack on the animals and men one more cause is for recreation purpose we are moving to the more far lands where difficult to reach though we are making up roads highways and construct the hotels in those area which are totally rich with the biodiversity and after few years of human intervention the biodiversity is found the greatly reduction the adverse impact on wildlife of habitat fragmentation is reported reduced patch size unable to support the species jem jem jangalo no vistar ghatto jaye mm mm area ma su thai as habitat become more fragmented the remaining habitat patches ave je vade e patches thase core area become too small to support the species that need a large area to survive so in at least space nahi mare movement mare jagya nahi mare so some suitable habitat may remain it reva joye it might not be enough to support all the species characteristic of the habitat type to e badu etla nana area ma emne nahi martu for example the red squirrel लाल कलर की खिस्कोली द रेड स्क्यूरल आर ब्रॉड टू नीड एटलीस्ट सिक्स हेक्टर ऑफ सुटेबल हेबिटा टू सर्वाइव एंड रिप्रोड्यूस तो रेड स्क्यूरल ने ओछा में ओछा छ हेक्टर जंगल तो जो है एना ओछू हो तो ये रिप्रोडक्शन एफिशियंसी एना एडवर्स इम्पेक्ट थे द नेक्स्ट कॉज ऑफ बायोडाइवर्सिटी लॉस इज द कंस्ट्रक्शन we know that the dam construction on a river and we cover the huge water in a particular area so after the dam the river it start to die and all the ecosystem surrounding that river on the bank of river throughout the river is lost definitely because water supply is not there
यू मे हर्ड अबाउट द जोग फॉल्स गुजराती में तब भाया हसो जोगनो दूध सो दैट जोग फोग इन अ वेस्टर्न गार्ट ऑफ इंडिया इज कवर्ड विथ डेम तो पा जे आए थे इना पहला डेम बना दीद सो इन नाइंटीन फिफ्टी फाइव बिफोर डेम यू केन सी द फोटोग्राफ ऑफ द फ्रोल बराबर एक हज के पा पड़त एंड इन टू थाउजंड सिक्स आफ्टर द डेम देर इज नो वॉटर त्या पा पड़त नहीं सीमिलरली वन वार इमेज यू केन सी वेर रीवर वॉज रनिंग फूली तो के जंगल एंड राइट नाउ द जंगल इज लॉस्ट बाय मेकिंग अ डेम डेम बना थे आखू जंगल खलास थी गयु नेक्स्ट रिजन इज द ग्लोबल वॉर्मिंग ग्लोबल वॉर्मिंग इज अ नेचरल थिंग बट इट हेज बीन एसिलेटेड एक्सटेन्सिवली बाय द मेन मेड एक्टिविटी मेन मेड एक्टिविटी इज ड्यू टू द यूज ऑफ पेट्रोलियम गैसेस डिफॉरेस्टेशन सो डिफॉरेस्टेशन रिजल्ट इन एन इंक्रीज इन सी ओ टू एंड अदर ग्रीन गैसेस विच इंक्रीज द अर्थ एटमोस्फियर जटलू प्रदूषण थाय पेट्रोल डीजल बढ़े एट कार्बन डायक्साइड रिलीज थे एंड देट कार्बन डायक्साइड इज कॉज फॉर इट इज अ ग्रीन गैस हाउस सो दीज ग्रीन गैस कैच इज द हीट एंड एवरी इयर द एवरेज टेम्परेचर ऑन द अर्थ इज इंक्रीजिंग बाय पॉइंट फाइव डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड ड्यू टू दीस क्लाइमेट चेन्ज एंड ग्लोबल वॉर्मिंग एवरी इयर वी आर फेसिंग द फ्लड देन द सुनामी नॉट सुनामी बट द साइक्लॉन्स ऑन द साउथ इंडिया एंड नियर गुजरात सो आइधर द रेन बिकम इरेग्युलर विदाउट सीजन वी आर फेसिंग नंबर ऑफ टाइम द रेन इज देर एंड इन सीजन देर इज अ लो रेन and our country is totally depend on agriculture so forms of climate change leads such natural calamities aap phate che varshad nahi aato ati vrushti thai and since last 3 years we have watching that in bihar and up nepal bhutan and uh, orissa there is a flood can regularly flood is there okay then in the uh, south indian portion we can see in tamil nadu karnataka keral uh, orissa bangladesh and in gujarat also the uh, variety of uh, typhoons or hurricanes struck every year one of the greatest effect of global warming is increase in the temperature decreasing the polar region ice is continue keep on melting ice is continue to keep on melting which can increase the water level of the sea jitlo baraf agar se itlu darya nu pani unchu aavse so global warming is a loss of glacier and glacier maintains the earth water level if glacier is not maintained then the all the life which rely on the glacier you can see the penguin in the south polar with the loss of glacier the life is also under danger so these are the 10 indicator of the worth is suffering from the global warming 
ग्लेशियर ओगड़ी जाए ग्लेशियर स्नो जे छे बरफ अच्छा जी प्रदेशों दे आर डिक्रीजिंग द टेम्परेचर इंक्रीजिंग ह्यूमिडिटी इंक्रीजिंग रेन इज इंक्रीजिंग ओके पीछे दरिया में बरफ जे छे सी आइस एक घटत हो जाए It is believed that by 2040 the Arctic region is predicted to have the completely ice free summer. You manwa ma hai je. To 2040 ma Arctic upar baraf aj nahi hoy. Global warming and uneven rainfall also damage to the cultivation and agriculture field next is the uncontrolled use of natural resources the extensive use of forest water mineral food, cultivars, energy and land is directly affect on the living organisms. Overfishing has reduced some commercial fish stocks by more than 90%. Loss of forest and they are replaced with cities, hotels, this is a recovery of mine minerals from the mines, coal mines, extensive use of natural petroleum and gases extensive use of water reduces the water table and this water contains the salt which added to your farm and reduces the pH of the farm and increase the salt concentration in the soil People now focus on the land, forest area and agricultural land and it is replaced with construction of mall cities, cinemas, etc. Right now in India, in, even in Gujarat, we have a metro train project, bullet train project. So all train project, the widen of the highways, all make the disturbance into the habitat. Remember, jitla pana pade road banaiye je, metros banavi su. Even uh, Narmada Dam has lost many agricultural land. Apne Narmada upar je dam bande hoje. तो डैम बांधवा थी आजू बाजू ना लोगों ने जो जमीन रहती खेती लायक जमीन रहती ये बदी पानी मार गई हंटिंग एंड फिशिंग सो दिस इज़ द नेचुरल मेथड ऑफ़ फिशिंग दे कैन कैच दिस मच फिश इन अ डे बट थ्रू द टेक्नोलॉजी एंड स्टीमिंग बोटिंग एंड बोट्स स्पेशलाइज्ड बोट्स फॉर फिशिंग Tons of ton fishes now recovered from the water. You can see and this technology extensively 
catches the fishes in a large amount and 90% of commercial fish nowadays lost this is the comparative of techniques whereby the fishing is carried out post and traps logging bottom grid lines degrades so this is known as the fishing next is a hunting since years varsho thi apne praniyo no shikar kariye che we are hunting the animals for their fur teeth and medicinal purposes now it is a crime throughout the world haathi daat ni taskari so this is african elephant tongue tusk and 80% of elephant in africa and even in south india in thailand they are killed for this tusk the animals are killed for their skin the rhinos they are killed for their nose for the fur the animals were killed and this skin used for the shoes belt purse and many articles preparation next topic is alien species alien species means the species which are not naturally observed in that environment they are come from outside from other or they are inhabitant of not that area they are constructed by genetically modified organisms we have a lots of species right now which are gmo food genetically modified food this genetically modified food can replace the natural growing plants and products which kills the other microorganisms soil microorganisms also <clears throat> genetically modified crop bt cotton or bt brinjal or any bt so bt that is a bacillus thuringiensis poison toxin so due to the cultivation of genetically modified crop it is reported 37 million dead bees in europe europe ni andar je pollination kare paragraj lai jaye e makhiyo ketli mari gayi 37 million dead bees to e kona lide thayu it is due to the cause of bt cotton bt cotton ane ena crop na lide the alien species you can see this is the ball worm जे कॉटन होना अंदर जो कीड़ो हो दैट इज अ बॉल ऑफ वॉम लेपिटोटेट्रॉन नेक्स्ट एंड इम्पोर्टंट रिजन इज द पॉल्यूशन पॉल्यूशन इन ऑफ वॉटर आयर एयर एंड सॉइल एंड रेडियक्टिव मटीरियल ऑल्सो अफेक्ट द प्लांट्स एनिमल्स एंड माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स high quantity of exhaust gases 
द बिगेस्ट रिजन फार फॉर ऑल काइंड ऑफ एनवायरमेंटल डिग्रेडेशन इज एक्सॉर्बिटेंट अमाउंट ऑफ द गैस इज हार्मफुल टू द एनवायरमेंट विच रिलीज बाय द वेरियस इंडस्ट्री द प्राइमरी गैसेज एमोंग दिस आर कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड एंड अमोनिया ऑफ कोर्स दे आर द मैनी मोर एंड आर मेन कंप्यूटरीज फॉर ओजोन डिप्लीशन एंड रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द ग्लोबल वार्मिंग दिस इज द वॉटर पॉल्यूशन एंड द वॉटर कमिंग फ्रॉम द इंडस्ट्री मे कंटेन द हैवी मेटल पॉइजनस केमिकल्स वन मोर एग्जाम्पल इज यूज ऑफ प्लास्टिक देन यूज ऑफ केमिकल्स एंड डाइज दिस आर ऑल द मटीरियल एडेड टू द सॉइल रेडियो एक्टिव मटीरियल इज ऑल्सो एडेड इन टू द सी वीच किल्स द सॉइल फ्लोरा एंड सी फ्लोरा रेडियो एक्टिव मटीरियल this is the soil and water bodies pollution the next factor is use of pesticide insecticides herbicides which are potent toxic or chemical so after the use these all things comes with rainy water into the aquatic system and these all are not degraded Ultimately, they cause bio magnification. अब तो chemicals छे ए living system नी अंदर दिवसे दिवसे एकत्रित होते जाए. That is called as bio magnification. तो मैं chemical pesticide छांटो इटले सूत है. There is a loss to the natural worms and microorganisms in the soil. chemical pesticides also attack on the beetles and bees which are the natural pollinator je parag nayan kare che bada jeevo kitako nash pave che chemical fertilizers when you add into the soil they damage the soil microflora and microbial count is reduced from 10 is to 9 to 10 is to 3 barabar to atlu bidu microbial loss bhi thai che that is due to natural uh, this uh, chemical fertilizers <clears throat> this chemical fertilizers kill the nitrogen fixing bacteria and other nitrogen uh, metabolizing bacteria responsible for nitrogen cycle similarly for sulfur cycle phosphorus cycle so all minerals which are naturally metabolized through the microbial flora they all microorganisms killed by this chemical fertilizers the last and the main cause of everything is population blast human may be considered the worst case exotic species for most organism duniya ma badhi j babato mate sauthi motu mot jawabdar kon je manas human activity and increasingly consumption intensive lifestyle means that future human population growth spell disaster going forward unless attitude behaviors and lifestyle changes to manaso e potani rehni karni potanu jivan evi rite kari didu che ke jena thi apde duniya ne nuksan ponchadi raha che we are damaging the see the population increase in last 10 decades chela 100 varsho ma tumhe juo it is believed to be reach 9 billion right now it is 760 7.6 billion sada 700 crore vasti aaje pan che so this is the world population graph
So what is the conclusion? The conclusion that due to habitat loss, the bird, the mammal, the fishes, the reptile and fishes, they have been lost up to 66% right now. And it is the alarming time. If we do not control all these activities so the first and last person who will become endangered would be the human jo aap paristhiti chalu rahi to chevate manasho pan sani category ma avse endangered species in 2016 lpi draw on record population size over time for 4658 monitored population of 16078 terrestrial species so this is the completion of today's lecture if you have any doubts and problem you can ask me